Um, I'm curious about uh, the, uh, the pool of molten steel that was found in the bottom of the, of the tower. Um, I, I am too. And <laughs> please tell me about it. Have you, have you seen it? Well, I, not personally, but eyewitnesses there found huge poles of molten steel beneath the towers. And uh, scientists, some scientists don't think that the uh, collapse of the building could have melt, melted all that steel. And uh, uh, professor, physics professor analyzed some of the steel, and uh, Stephen Jones, and he found evidence of, uh, of thermate residue, mm -hmm. which would explain how the buildings collapsed by means of pre-planted explosives. So have you analyzed the, uh, the steel for uh, any of those residues? Um, first of all, let's go back to your basic uh, premise that there was uh, a pool of molten, molten steel. Um, I know of absolutely nobody, and no eyewitness who said so, nobody who's produced it. Uh, you'd get down below and you'd see molten steel, molten steel running down the channel rails, like you're in a foundry. Like lava. Like, like, like lava. lava. Steel-toed boots is one of the biggest things. Out, still on the rubble, it's still, uh, I believe, 1,100 degrees. The guy's boots just melt within a few hours. This is how it's been since day one. Oh, it's unbelievable. And this is six weeks later, almost six weeks later. And as we get closer to the center of this, it gets hotter and hotter. It's probably 1,500 degrees. We've had some small windows into... Um, what we thought was a core at some point, and it looked like a, uh, an oven, you know, it was just roaring inside. And it was just a bright, bright reddish-orange color. Um, I know of absolutely nobody, and no eyewitness who said so, nobody who's produced it. Uh, I was on the site, I was on the steel yards, so I can't, I don't know that that's so. There's uh, a video of it. It's around 2,600 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Um, I think it's probably pretty difficult to get that kind of uh, uh, temperatures in a, um, uh, in a fire. So I, I don't know the basis. I, I can't uh, you know, address your question if, uh, if I don't know the basis. Well, NASA pictures, uh, thermal uh, images showed those those sorts of temperatures in the basement. Would you send them to me? Okay. And uh, I would like to echo a frequently asked question on the NIST.com uh, website uh, regarding World Trade Center 7 in that uh, the report on World Trade Center 7 five years after collapse has not been released by NIST. And uh, in the fact that the tower collapsed in approximately 6.6 .6 seconds uh, and free fall in a vacuum would be approximately six seconds, uh, why uh, is, is a, uh, a controlled demolition hypothesis being examined for World Trade Center 7? Uh, we are looking at it. Um, there's actually a very good write-up uh, recently uh, from controlled demolition experts, which you probably ought to read. Um, we haven't finished the investigation yet, so I'm not at liberty to, to talk about any intermediate findings. We were charged with finding out the cause of the collapse, and we we uh, found uh, what happened. I think uh, we've scientifically demonstrated uh, what was required to initiate the collapse. Once the collapse initiated. The video evidence is rather clear. It, it was not stopped by the floors below, so there was no calculation that we did uh, to demonstrate that, uh, what is clear from the good videos. We were charged with finding out the cause of the collapse, and we we uh, found uh, what happened. I think uh, we've scientifically demonstrated uh, what was required to initiate the collapse. Once the collapse initiated, the video evidence is rather clear. It, it was not stopped by the floors below, so there was no calculation that we did uh, to demonstrate that, uh, what is clear from the good videos.